AKA Best Bail Bonds Big Game Coverage, live from Miami. It is the Blitz. You're on 1250 ESPN San Antonio, 94.5 FM or ESPNSA.com. He's Jason Minix. I'm Rob Thompson, live from Radio Row. Your AA Best Bell Bonds Radio Row coverage will continue all week. We are looking for Kyle Turley. He's, I see him. He uh, casts Over a large there. shadow, and he is headed our direction. If you'd like to see what Kyle Turley looks like, go to the ESPN San Antonio Facebook page. We are broadcasting live, as we will be all week long, to make sure you're part of our coverage. Kyle Turley, we uh, first met him... Uh, I first met him back in Houston, and I, I knew of him, didn't know a whole lot about what his uh, life's goal was after football, but he was really the first guy to start working Radio Row and talking about CBD and their phenomenal and their phenomenal effects on uh, football players and their improvement of their health and mental stability. Oh, I, Kyle? I, I tell people all the time, as Kyle Turley joins us live here on Radio Row right hey, now, hey. It, it is uh, you never know what you're going to get when, when Kyle Turley uh, joins on Radio <laughs> Row. I forget, were we in New York where you had your guitar and you started jamming I, for everybody? Was that New York yeah, or was that... Uh, I don't know. Uh, it was a couple years I did it, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I, Indian, I mean, Indianapolis was one, I think. Indy? I, I, Indy? Indy? Um, I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I'd have seen it. Indy uh, and a couple others. New Orleans? Do you have it in New Orleans? No. Did you bring, did you bring your guitar? No. But I never know. Yeah, I mean, Miami? You, no. Well, this last is Miami. We were, oh, know, last time. Yeah, we yeah. yeah. I played a concert down here for the Gridiron Greats last time with Miami. It was very cool. So, I, I, like, like I said, so I, it's like, there's a gazillion things to talk about with you, yeah. and I never know where it's going to go, <laughs> uh, which is fantastic. So, uh, you're driving the boat, man. Where do you want to go? <laughs> hey, man. Uh, well, I'm here, you know, again, uh, mostly and first and foremost to talk about this plant, this crazy, wacky weed that's got me all, you know, back to being me. <laughs> well, you know, Kyle, I was sailing as you walked up three years ago in Houston. Uh, we were walking, working the row, and you were the first one that we had spoken with about the benefits of CBD. Literally, you were the groundbreaker. You were the first one to start pushing the envelope, saying, this is something that's absolutely necessary. Did you th think, even three years ago, the progress that has been made? I think it's, while I'm sure you've been fighting this fight a long time, for those on the outside looking in, it looks rather quick to where we have become, because I think we've now seen other professional leagues just kind of discount the very idea. We're not going to test anymore. We're not going to tell you yes or no. We're just not going to test right. anymore. And uh, I, you, you get the feeling that the NFL, it, with the next CBA, is going to jump on board for something that the players so desperately need. Well, they do, and, and I think that's happening. You're seeing that in the statements being put out by the NFL um, just recently, saying they've consulted with some companies on this for further information um, and, and education, you know, and... This year we haven't seen an NFL player get suspended. They didn't make a big deal about it at least. And I think they're having that conversation more with them as to why they're using this, mm -hmm. you know, and not just putting in the categories with alcoholism and, you know, being addicted to all these pills. Um, the NCAA this year increasing, or 2019 last year, increasing their THC allowance to 35 nanograms of THC instead of 15, which brings it up to the NFL level, which allows players, uh, you know, that are actually even current to use CBD products um, and start to get this base level understanding from cannabis. You know, it's been a, a, an honor to be able to say that I, I you know, help this conversation. Uh, but where it is today, I, I can honestly say I do I, I didn't know it would happen this fast, like mm -hmm. you're saying. I, th I thought, man, I got another 10 years in the trenches here <laughs> of fighting for this plant before I get guys like Terrell Davis and you know uh who else is out here now a lofa i just got yeah so many guys um uh, it was just over here, a mistake. Some other guy that thought that I was coming. He was talking about his CBD. I was talking about my CBD. You know, it's it's wild, man. Well, well you know, Jeff those, Garcia. Yeah, Jeff yeah. Garcia. For those that are yeah. unaware, tell a little bit about the story, how this came to be, how you became such an advocate for. Well, I, you know, I had the unique experience um, early in my career. I, I, I was committed to the dream. Uh, I didn't do anything. I didn't drink. I didn't do drugs. I didn't smoke. I didn't do nothing. And then it was brought to my attention because the player saw me <laughs> dealing with a lot of things on and off the field, uh, mentally and physically, and these pills being prescribed to me. A Hall of Fame player that, uh, you know, told me, here, 
Kyle, try this. This is going to help you. And from that moment, I knew that there was something through cannabis, okay? Uh, being in New Orleans, Kansas City, St. Louis, it's a hit and miss deal, you know? So it wasn't a frequent uh, opportunity. It was, okay, this is going to help me sleep and eat. Cool. Whenever I can get this, let me have it. I'll use it at night when I'm done with my day, just like all these other guys drink beers. Because I didn't do any of that. And I was taking all these pills, and maybe this could help me with that. But I still got on the pills. It wasn't until I got to my end, really, about six years ago uh coming up on uh, uh ironically six years uh, i think maybe gal because it's right around the super bowl mm-hmm. when it happened and i had this just experience where i moved back to california gave up the pills through using marijuana and trusted that there was something further to this these pills were just showcasing these side effects on the side of these bottles in my life and um I needed to have something help me. You know, I was experiencing real issues of vertigo constantly, depression, rage, emotional control to focus, and uh, just memory and everything, man. And, and for the last six years since not having any of these pills, it's been an unbelievable recovery that I've experienced to know that I could say if I had this with me back when I was playing football, I'd have probably played 10 more years than I did and avoided multiple surgeries that I had. Well, you know, I would. No, go ahead. And I, I think about that. I think a lot of people understand, you know, football players put their bodies through hell. and But they don't see the, you know, Monday to Saturday. We, You know, you see what we see for three hours on a Sunday. But, you know, the struggles of getting out of bed every morning, the amount of pain pills and different things that you have to take just to get out there on the field. We don't see that. Or the side effects that go with it, like, say, your family sees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, you thought you needed those because they gave them to you, you know. And what I found through cannabis is that there's an answer to every one of those pills that I ever took. Uh, There's not one thing that I haven't been able to address from inflammation to the pain management because there is no painkiller. That doesn't exist. There's no painkiller clinics. There's pain management clinics. There's no painkiller period out there. You deal with pain because injury happens, you know, bone on bone in every joint. I got plates and screws in my body, fused everything almost, uh, and I don't take pills i I have not taken one and i've found an answer through cannabis from cbd to the thc side of understanding the different strains and even to the high concentrates where people are saying well there's this there's this marijuana out there that's so high that it'll kill somebody like no you need to get to levels of taking putting thc in your system you can implement that to get to levels that would put a horse on the ground and you're unbelievably functional and you're your life becomes significantly better because your what is happening here is your cannabinoid system taking over. It's the number one regulatory system in the human body. It's right in the center of our brains. Everyone in here would test positive for marijuana if you drop drug testing down below that 15 nanogram level that the government came out with. Absolutely. There's a reason why because it's there. <laughs> it's in you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Kyle Turley, former Kansas City Chief, played for New Orleans as well, and for the Rams, of course. Uh, just a legendary career, and your post career has been. Every time we catch up with you, you're doing something different. I try. Uh, so, <laughs> well, you're acting now. Yeah, well, I've done a couple acting bits, and uh, this one's coming back around. You know, getting my life back is what this is about. You know, get my music back. Uh, next year I'll be back on the road. Uh, you know, like we talked about, all these people talk about, see, I don't have to do it no more. Right. So next year I'm coming back with my music heart, you know, real strong. Um, we'll talk about cannabis, but it's got me my music back my family back most importantly you know getting back to entertainment being having opportunities to you know play roles in movies and other things uh you know and just live this life you know at the end of the day god bless me with certain talents abilities i try to access those and max out their potentials you know and 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 give everything i got just like with sports and uh having the ability to do that through recovering my mind most importantly you know which is why i call my cbd company neuro Neuro, you XPF. know, Neuro XPF. Yeah. We were originally Neuro Armor because this gave me this helmet, it seems, inside my brain or my skull over my brain that's helping to recover, not just protect further damage. It's recovering in my experience of taking all these tests through the NFL concussion.
concussion program over the last three, four years. I've been in this NFL concussion protocol deal of testing where they give you these five, six-hour BAP tests, these, these baseline tests that are just ridiculous. You sit there with these doctors oh. for six yeah. hours. It is a nightmare. And every year now from – Four years ago, being diagnosed with progressive stage two dementia, which would put me at timeline wise at this point in my life, pretty much going into full blown Alzheimer's. And the last test that I took, which was the third or fourth one they gave me, uh, probably the fifth time I've taken those tests, but in this program, um, and they've said I've had significant recovery, significant improvement, and it's happening more and more. You know, and I feel it. I know it. And I, uh, from the pain issues, gotten rid of my neuropathy, plantar fasciitis pain. I can walk for the first time uh, without shoes and orthotics and all that in 10, 15 years, it's, maybe more. Um, you know, it, it, it's undeniable, and it's helped me get my life back to where I'm doing all this stuff. It's, it's awesome. amazing when you think about all the stuff that you're doing and, you know, music and actor. I mean, you know, the whole idea of living your best life. Yeah. You know, Kyle Turley, you, you, you certainly are. Now, let's talk a little football. You played in right. Kansas City. Yes, sir. You know, I, I look at it, and I've got one of my best friends uh, in the world lives in Kansas City, and listening to him talk about this Super Bowl run, Reminds me of San Antonio in 1999 when the Spurs made their first trip to the NBA Finals. Uh, you played there. What, 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 what can you imagine it's like right now in Kansas City leading up to the Super Bowl? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know after that AFC championship game, I, I know people personally that didn't leave that parking lot for like two days. <laughs> so, you know, that wasn't because of the ice and snow. Um, you know, having the opportunity to play in Kansas City, like New Orleans and other areas that are very unique, you know, to mm-hmm. their fan bases. Um, uh, you know, I grew up a Rams fan from Southern California, so that's more in Southern California, not St. Louis. But it was cool there. But New Orleans, unique fan base, and Kansas City, unique fan base, just very diehard, uh, committed very to the personal team, fan. very personal to them, you know. And and that's what I loved about the game. And that's you know, unfortunately, my last two years were uh, under a lot of injuries with the Chiefs. I wasn't even supposed to play offensive line. I, guess I was supposed to be like the third string backup tight end, <laughs> but Willie Rove retired, and I got thrown back in the fire. Um, did the best I could, man, and and I uh, I wish I could have done better just for that fan base. You know, uh, they were so supportive of me personally, my comeback, you know, back to football after my bad back injury and trying to make the squad. You know, I was playing under a league minimum contract for the last two years in Kansas City uh, with a split in it. You know, just just the ultimate place where I experienced another great fan base of people that got behind me because they understood where I was coming from. He is Kyle Turley, a force of nature. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, yeah. you are. There, yeah. You uh, your presence is felt long before you even arrive. You're, I appreciate uh, that. And man. what you have done for what you are doing for the future of football, I don't think it's going to be able to be measured for quite some time. But they're going to look back on you breaking the ice and what will, will literally change the game and the players that played it. I appreciate that, and you know the the benefit for me is just in seeing the other guys that it's helping save. You know, the more you, you guys see people are coming in front of you in these interviews during Radio Row over the years. You see what this game right. does to us. And now you guys are seeing this not just resurgence of me in my life, but all these other guys. And this is really happening where they're truly getting their lives back. You know, To see my good friend Ricky Williams now – being called upon by yep. ESPN and yep. all these people. Hey, can you come do this for us? When you know they just slam the door shut on him. To you know, all these guys still sitting out here, uh, you know, that experience ex- extreme scrutiny for this plant, and seeing them have their lives back and and uh, the recovery of even the old guys that are having this experience through cannabis now, uh, and them starting to rewind the clock a right. little bit. You know, it's been just unbelievably gratifying and. Uh, I appreciate those words. I'll continue to do so, and um, because again, it saved my life. I can't deny it, and I have to go in the, and walk through these doors to, to to showcase it, you know. So it's not just 
uh, cheap talk. Yep. You know, this is not just cheap talk. This is very real. Well, Kyle, it's always an honor. Thank Pleasure. You. Look forward to always. seeing you Thank year you after year That's after year. Likewise, likewise. Kyle Thank Turley you. right here on ESPN San Antonio. When we get back, we're going to look toward uh, the NBA, talk about the ramifications of what happened with Kobe, the tragic, tragic accident, and the ideas to uh, lengthen to uh, further Kobe's legacy inside the league. A logo, an award, and then what had happened with Mr. Peanut. We'll talk about it next <laughs> here on the Blitz, 1250 ESPN San Antonio, 94.5 FM and on the go at ESPNSA.com.